So what we have here is our 2008, 2009, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention to the year make model of these cars when I get them. But then I know this is a Subaru Outback. I ran this in Barrie, Ontario, and I had fun, and I used the back end pretty aggressively. And then I, uh, f I broke an axle and bent two struts. That's what took me out in Barrie, Ontario. So I went and I bought new axles and struts for this and installed them and uh, it went pretty good everything went together pretty easily came apart pretty nicely um, this here is a all-wheel drive Subaru with the rear shafts deleted um, you guys said that some of the computer stuff might get screwed up if I do that I have had zero computer issues with this I've had ABS issues but that's about it I've had zero computer issues telling me stop what you're doing because you're messing us up none of that but anyway I ran this car and then my buddy Steven told me he was looking to get in the ring. So I said, Steven, I have that Subaru. Go get that Subaru. So he went and took this Subaru and uh, he ran it and beaten. And he fixed this thing up. Actually, to be honest, it was all fixed, but he wanted to put a better bumper on because you guys said this Subaru deserves a better bumper. I'm going to have a hard time walking around it because how muddy it is out here. So we do not have doubles for this Subaru because I do not have, this is not a car I normally run. But he cut off my 70s shitty bumper that went flat in one hit. And he put the best bumper you could ever imagine. A 1974 Monte Carlo double skinned, double thickness bumper. And what do you think this car did to the best factory OEM bumper that you can get in the Derby community? That's right. The Subaru screwed the Monte. It is folded around on this thing. Uh, what is going on here? You're telling me that this Subaru Outback folded a Monty. The, these are the bumpers that people can put on a car and run for years. And this Subaru bent the Monty. Um... I am at a loss for words. I really am. I don't know how this thing did this. It's not even a full sub car. This is a K-frame car. Uh... This thing here is still just the loop lines. It has no rad support, nothing like that. And uh, it went into its heat and the top three moved to the feature. So I believe this took second in its heat because it just came down to three people and he took second. But uh, he made it to feature, he did good in the feature, he did good in his heat. In the feature, he started having some problems. And I think I found out what is killing these Subarus. Steven tells me, there was actually two Subarus there, an Outback and this. And they both had problems where they couldn't get it past neutral to reverse. And then he told me that he could see his headers moving quite a bit. So I think motor mounts are gone in this. He thinks motor mounts are gone in this. We both together have a concluded... Through an investigation, that motor mounts are gone in this. And what happened was, it spit the driver's side axle shaft again. So I'm happy I picked up two axles. But uh, he ran this car, and I went into finals with my Camry, and he went into this finals with this Subaru. And I honestly thought that this car here was going to be one of the toughest cars to beat out there. I didn't want to mess with the back of it. I did not want to mess with the front of it. Um... The back of this thing is tough. It's not even into the gas tank protector yet. Like like random little pits of aluminum sheet metal are into the gas tank protector. But no other part of the car is touching it yet. Like this is still just the bumper. Like there's been nothing done to this to make it this tough. I do not understand why this Outback is this tough. To bend a 75 Monty is kind of really unheard of like what is going on here but uh this thing will be fixed again and i think he's gonna run it again um so i think we got to get it up on the hoist and try to chain down or nine wire down these motor mounts and uh or seat belt them down i don't know but something's got to be done because they're having problems getting them into gear and uh oh he left the battery on just try to disconnect that for him so it doesn't kill it on him but he did get a trophy, his brand new expensive helmet's in here getting soaking wet. You guys know where I can put it. Oh, he's got glasses. Correction, I now have sweet glasses. What do you think of my new glasses? 
but I know you guys are going to want to see this thing fixed and ran again. Derby season's kind of coming to a close, but we still have time to fix this. So we got to fix this and then she fix these motor mounts so Steven can run it again. This thing here is a weapon and I want to see how far it can be used. We still haven't bent the front frame. So I ran a Subaru Outback last year, sorry, a Subaru Forester last year. This guy's dad and buddy have been running a Forester and this Subaru Outback and none of the frames have bent in the front at all. And like, we've been using these Subarus. I took a G-body bumper, the frame was straight and it bent the bumper into the crank pulley. So, I think these Subarus might have some uh, validity to them. I think that's a good word, validity. And uh, I'll have to make sure that my definition of that word is correct. But we gotta figure them out. This could be the next car, guys. We just gotta figure them out. So thanks for watching. We have lots of videos coming up, guys. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, stay tuned because we still have lots of stuff that we can build and derby and document. So stay tuned, boys and girls. We'll see you back here later on Zach's Workshop.